So five years ago, I, uh, I found myself at Burning Man. And in hindsight, I realized why. But when I was there, I didn't really know why I was there. <laughs> uh, but I was coming out of a, a long relationship. And I had started, you know, it, it was, for me, it just was one of these times of transformation and transition. So I started questioning things in my own life and in my own being. And, and then I found myself at Burning Man, and that became just like fuel for that transformational um, process. So it's not I am Nils uh, or I am a human being. It is I am this entire experience. I am all of it. And what all of it is, is and this is where I, I, I know I sometimes lose people. To me, it's very clear. <laughs> but it also took me five years to get there, is to understand that all of this is everything, right? No, this is everything. <laughs> you, can, you might feel that you don't see everything now because you don't see the people on the other side of the hill or you know, someone in, in Brazil, um, but this is everything. And there's nothing beyond everything. That's sort of what the word describes, right? Everything is, is everything, so there's nothing outside of everything because then that would have to be included in, in everything so everything has no boundaries and the exact same thing is true for nothingness so in nothingness there's also no boundaries because in nothingness there's nothing that's not nothing so to speak uh, so in 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 a way everything and nothing is exactly the same thing while if you say everything is one or we are two uh, you create boundaries um, which we, you could call dualism or, or polarity. And these boundaries is actually the, the foundation of the experience of existence. So the only reason we can experience anything, or this, this consciousness that is everything, the consciousness that is everything and also nothing, in that deepest place of itself, it can't experience anything because there's no contrast. It is everything and nothing. There are no boundaries. It cannot look at itself within that. But in order to experience itself, it creates polarity. So distinction, contrast. And if we look around ourselves in, in, in our lives, we see polarity everywhere. We have night and day. We have life and death. We have good and bad. <laughs> we have happy and sad. Uh, you know, it, it, and we have, um, we have the future and, and the past. All of these things, are polarities and they're they they are based on each other they're 100 percent interrelated because you can't have good without bad you can't have night without day you can't have death without life and so on so this polarity structure is is the foundation for for the entire experience of of existence so realizing this in a way it has changed my life but you know in another way of looking at it, nothing has changed because this is the truth. This is what's always there. There's no such thing as, as becoming enlightened, reaching enlightenment because it's always there, always within us. So one way of, of, of describing it is that it hasn't changed anything. It has just made me realize what is. But on another hand, it has allowed me to not have to be burdened by all of these aspects of life that we tend to walk around carrying us heavy loads on our, our shoulders, you know. The worry and the anxiety and the stress and the, you know, I need to become someone and I need to perform and I need to be successful and I don't want that because it's, it's bad or I don't feel good about it and I only want this because that's obviously really, really good. That entire chasing of things has, has sometimes it comes back and sort of closes itself around my mind, but most time it doesn't. So it's, it's allowing me freedom from all of those things. When the bad things come up, uh, and that, you know, we can all relate to bad things. So we all know what those bad things could be, and they're on different levels. You know, it could be anything where I mean, I, I'm hitting my toe on something. It's a very momentarily bad thing. <laughs> or someone close to me passes away. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bigger bad thing in life. Uh, but what I do is, is I, I experience it. There's, I can rationally remind myself that, yeah, this is the way it has to be and there's value in it. 
but the the way to actually live life is to experience it to breathe through it not trying to ex get away from it but actually you know be grateful and feel it 100 percent